What's happening everyone? Hope you are all doing really well. So this is a video um, continuation on from the Tour de Vale Sportive that I did. So I just wanted to have a quick chat with you. Um, so if you were thinking about doing a Sportive or something like that in your local area or one that's gonna be like horrendous, um, and you were thinking, God, what the hell am I gonna do? How am I gonna uh, feed myself, fuel myself? Um, you know, efficiently um, so I can try and get round the whole course. So if that's your aim, then today's video is probably going to be absolutely perfect. So I did a, it's my local um, route in Bucks, um, been going for years and years and years. Friends of mine have done it and then I got in cycling, so I've been doing it since I started. It was the 72 mile um, route that I did this year, so it's about, it was about three and a half thousand feet of climbing. Um, so it was, I was aiming for about four hours. Um, I found a really, really cool little link. Um, it's actually on an Instagram post um, for uh, SIS, which is Science in Sports, so Nutrition. Um, I'll put it here, here, here. I'll put it somewhere. Um, and it was a three hour and a four hour ride. And it gave you like a little topology of, sort of, do it that way actually, um, of the, the length of time, uh, how much fuel ouch, um, you could uh, take in. Um, and, and going from there. So I've got a few products on the left of me here um, that really did help me through it. Um, so this is going ranging from, sorry, something like a dust in my eye or something. Um, so using electrolyte drinks, uh, gels, let's have a look. Um, so starting off, bottles, I think I have mentioned this in probably a startup video. So these are the bottles I use. So these are high five. These are the 750 mil ones. I, I always use 750 mils. Um, how the pros use 500 mils? Christ knows, I just have no idea. But these are really good. I do use two of these for big sportive, um, definitely two. So I have one with electrolytes in. Um, so what I did on my ride, uh, um, I used this. So I mixed that, there you go. So that absolutely bang on with that. So, But this is the peach and passion fruit flavor and it is absolutely fantastic you could drink it on your own even if you weren't doing a sportive or any exercise just yeah you shouldn't but you could it's really really tasty um so there's loads of good stuff in that and this is also it says it is a train and sustain so this is almost a, a pre during and post um sort of feed if you were um multiple uses but it's brilliant so i have one of them full with that get rid of him now and then I have one bottle of water, which is perfect. And then feed stations, time it right, you can get a feed station and bang another couple of bottles. Or if you're clever, which I was, um, I then had these in the way. So these are the typical hydro SIS electrolyte things. So absolutely bang in, tablet like that, and absolutely perfect. So what I ended up doing with that is putting that in a little pouch, like a little sandwich Ziploc bag, shoving that in my jersey pocket. Um, so then if I did get to the second feed station about 50 miles in, for example, I could go, wow, you know, I need more electrolytes. One of them, thanks very much, water, and you've got yourself another electrolyte drink. So gels, have a look at the little SIS graph I put in as well, but gels, I, I try to go with every 30 minutes, or food. Um, gel's kind of like a bit of a get out of jail, I always think. So if you really are flagging um, and think, wow, 10, 15 minutes or something like that, 20 minutes possibly I've got to climb, bang a gel in if you're really dying because it will give you that little bit of a boost and it feeds those carbohydrates back in to really feed your muscles and give you that instant power to sort of try and get up there. I try to eat these as well. I, I, I personally, I struggle to eat on a bike going around. Um, sort of big events like this I just feel like I'm probably because I'm fit but I'm suffocating while I'm trying to ram solid food in my goblet these were wicked really really good so these were Cliff's white chocolate macadamia nut bars um, I don't know if they're any sort of protein oh it is yeah nine grams of protein but just a wicked little energy bar that really really good so I tried to ram them in so I mixed food with fuel um, so you know <clears throat> There are other brands, <coughs> sorry, available, but just flapjacks. Um, and I tried to fuel every, it was, I think, every 30 minutes. 
yeah, so I've got my notes, sorry, here. Um, carbs to fuel every 20 to 30 minutes, and that's 80 to 120 grams of carbs per hour. So, you know, do the math yourself. Obviously, everyone's body's different, so, you know, this might be completely, you know, not right for you. So, you know, do consult, you know, this lovely information on the back of products that everyone does fail to read and just doesn't want to know. So, you know, look into that stuff. See if it's right for you. Have a read. Um, you know, this was just what worked for me, but it was brilliant. But, you know, bars, gels, so what have we got here? So I went for these beta gels. So this is the SIS stuff. Wicked, really tasty as well. And a lot of people use gels just because they're easy to digest. So products, you know, do look into them. You know, they might be right for you, or they might not be right for you. So, you know, have a little look into them. But, um, you know, it, it did seem to work for me, and uh, I, I managed to get round the ride, and I did a pretty decent time. You know, my aim was for four hours, and I think it was four hours eighteen. So, you know, not bad. You know, these these products, you know, absolutely perfect, and they absolutely they did work for me, and they worked well. So, you know, be careful. Do try and you know. Don't just fuel on gels because it's not right. You do need to eat as well. Um, so, you know, think of things like that. Um, and maybe, you know, keep keep that little graph that I got in, in mind. And that might help you along the way as well. So, you know, have a look at these things. There are obviously other brands available. Again, not sponsored by any of these brands. Just, you know, what I've found used for me. Train with what you're going to use on the day as well. So, in my case, it was both of these. So, I was happy and I knew it would be no problem at all. That's my advice to you, but I hope this video helps you. Uh, if you were planning possibly your first sportive, you know, then that graph that I've got, if it's a smaller ride, condense it down, you know, just take out things or add more things in if you want, you know, so, you know, the world's your oyster, everyone's body's different, but just have a go. So there's a, maybe some basic guides for you there. So have a go, get out, and hopefully 2022 next year, we can all get out and do a lot more sportives and we can have a lot more fun out on those rides. But fingers crossed, COVID just does one now and we can get back to riding, doing lots more sportives and uh, having lots more fun. So on that note, have an absolutely amazing uh, rest of the day, guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. So take care.